Welcome to LA Now, your Los Angeles County news source. West Hollywood's crown jewel, the brand new county library opens. Plus, it's a reunion 10 years in the making for safe surrender babies. And the Department of Public Works is getting ready for storm season. LA Now starts right now. And thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Deneau. It's been a long time coming, 23 years to be exact, but good things come to those who wait. West Hollywood's new state-of-the-art library is now open. Deanna Morgan has more. Whether you go to your local library or not, most of us have been to a library at some point in our lives. It's one of the few places where you can sit and let your imagination transport you into another time and space. In the city of West Hollywood, residents will continue to have that experience, but on a totally different level, literally. Over the last few weeks, I've been asked, why build a new library in the 20th century? Why build a big library in the midst of the worst economic uh, situation since the Great Depression? My answer is, what better time to open a new library? The recent grand opening of West Hollywood's new state-of-the-art library was an event. Hundreds of residents showed up, almost all in awe of the 32,000 square foot, three-story contemporary white building. It's phenomenal. Um, from the bamboo etchings, the ceiling, I mean, you could truly get come here and get lost and not want to leave. <laughs> uh, I remember uh, as a child, the first sense of ownership I had in society was when I got my library card. The West Hollywood Library is a cultural and informational center that holds more than 150,000 volumes, a one-of-a-kind lesbian and gay collection of literature, as well as an expanded HIV and AIDS collection and career development center. The West Hollywood Library is part of the West Hollywood Park Master Plan, which includes two and a half acres of expanded parkland, new tennis courts, new cable TV facilities, new city council chambers, but the library itself has been a priority in the West Hollywood community for over 20 years, and now it has finally been built. One, two, three. Yeah! For LA Now, I'm Deanna Morgan. The West Hollywood Library is also one of six green libraries open or under construction in LA County. If you're part of the ebook revolution, don't worry. The County Public Library has got you covered as well. With the help of Amazon.com and its Kindle brand, the library's ebook collection will expand by more than 11,000 titles. That's on top of the 10,000 ebooks already available. Now, in addition to Kindle, the County Library also supports the Nook by Barnes & Noble, iPad or iPhone applications, Android, and all other major ebook technology. For more information or to start borrowing, go to the website on your screen. The Sheriff's Department honors its own at the Medal of Valor Awards. Several awards were recently handed out to the department's best and brightest from all over the county. In all, nearly 40 awards were presented from meritorious silver and gold awards to Purple Hearts and Humanitarian Awards. But the winner of the Medal of Valor Award itself was Carlos Nuquez, who was honored for his heroics during a 2008 shootout in the city of Downey. 87 beautiful LA County babies have found loving homes thanks to the Safe Surrender program since it started 10 years ago. Recently, those responsible for the programs and the families that came from it all came together for the celebration of the program's 10th anniversary. And said, I'm homeless living on the street and I cannot take her. Jill and Darren Birdwell recall the day their beautiful daughter Adriana first came into their lives. And in February of 09, on the 11th, I got a phone call. That forever changed their lives for the better. Thanks to the Safe Surrender program, Adriana's birth mother was legally able to hand over Adriana to a L.A. County hospital. <laughs> Many of the Safe Surrender children and their adoptive parents were on hand for the program's 10th anniversary celebration. And just remember these three things, no name, no shame, no blame. And within the first 72 hours of birth, if there's desperation at all or any thought of doing anything other than that and giving life to that baby, that they have the right to go to any hospital, any hospital in Los Angeles County, 
any fire station in Los Angeles County and turn that baby over. LA County Supervisor Don Kanabi began the Safe Surrender program after hearing about a local baby found in a trash can. And now, 10 years later, the program has possibly saved the lives of 87 LA County babies. That 87 may be a number, but it's the backstories of each baby and the family that they're now a part of uh, that are really the true stories. One such story is Jed and Carrie Silverstrom, who say they adopted their baby Gus after the mother gave birth in a LA County hospital restroom. Well, it's beneficial to the child who otherwise would either be in a, a home that doesn't want them or something even worse. And of course, for us as parents, we were able to get essentially a newborn baby uh, when we, we, we just wouldn't be able to any other way. Okay, we're going we're gonna to go for it. And she said, well, congratulations, you have a son. For more information on the Safe Surrender program, please go to the website on your screen at www.babysafela.org. Technology entrepreneurs get their chance to shine at LA Tech Week. The Business Technology Center in Pasadena is hosting the event for new and advanced technology business owners. The event showcases the latest innovations and provides an incredible opportunity to network with the movers and shakers in the industry. For more information, call 626-296-6300 or go to the website on your screen. It's a year-round effort for the Department of Public Works, but crews say they are ready for any winter storm damage. Crews work all year cleaning out storm drains, channel and debris basins to get ready for what may turn out to be a wet and wild winter. Now for more information on how Public Works is coordinating with many other agencies for storm season preparations, go to the website on your screen. Mid-century California modernism continues its influence in the art and design world, and now you can see how it all started at LACMA. California Design 1930 to 1965 features the furniture, architecture, jewelry, textiles, and film that helped put our state on the cutting edge in the first exhibition of its kind. For more information, go to the website on your screen. And that's all the time we have. Thank you for joining us. Watch us online anytime on LACountyChannel.com. Please stay tuned for a list of websites featured on our show. And we'll see you next time on LA Now.